What's up guys, this is Pro Warriors. In this video, we will learn how to install DarkOS emulator on Android phone. DarkOS is a new Windows emulator for Android device that allows users to play games like GTA 5, Palward, Cyberpunk or any other Windows games. Guys, I hope you can see I'm playing GTA 5 on my Android phone and DarkOS performance seems better than Mobox and Winlator emulator. DarkOS has custom configuration feature that that makes it the king of Windows emulators. In this step-by-step -step tutorial, I'm going to guide you how to install DarkOS emulator, the full setup process, settings and best configuration, control customization, and the last how to install PC games on the DarkOS emulator. Please like and subscribe to our channel and don't forget to hit the bell button. Before we are going to start, please see the minimum system requirement it needs to run on your device. Make sure you have Android 10 or higher, at least 6GB of RAM, 8GB of RAM is most recommended, and a free storage on your Android device for system files and games. If you have a Snapdragon chipset like 888, Snapdragon 7 or 8 that's most preferable, don't worry, Mali and other chipset are also supported. Let's get into the installation process head over to the dark voice github page i have given the github link in the description on the download page just scroll down and you will see three apps under the section of installation now we have to download and install this talmax talmax x11 and input breach application which are necessary components to install and run dark OS emulator on our android phone so download this application one by one once you have downloaded this application install them gradually if you are installing any application for the first time it may ask you for your permission so allow yourself to install an unknown app so guys you can see i have successfully installed tarmax tarmax x11 and input bridge at first launch the tarmax application and allow permission for notification here we need to give a command for start installation and that command we will get from the github page so go back to the github to copy the command just click on copy button and the code will copy to your clipboard now return to the dark OS and click and hold for a while then paste the install command and hit the enter key now it will say to install tarmax and it will ask you for your permission to allow it to use your phone storage now it's installing tarmax packages it's a lengthy process generally it takes 5 to 10 minutes so you just have to wait for it to get installed one important note if you have already mobox emulator on your device then it may show you this type of note then type n if you want a clean installation click y once it setting up you will need to wait four to five minutes depending on your internet connection until everything is completed after that it will launch the tarmax x11 i have already told you that this emulator is similar to the mobox emulator you can see it's starting to boot and finally we are on the main interface here we have this pc it looks like we are using windows desktop here we have some partitions when we have opened the d drive it displaying the entire phone storage which is pretty good because other emulators only show the download folder before we are going to install any application or games let's configure and set up best settings for the dark os emulator at the bottom beside the start menu you can find the dark os configuration tab there are a lot of options and customization in the apps at the top right corner there is an option for update OS. Whenever any operating update comes, you can easily update it. Then you have Wine Manager. The current installed version is Wine 9.2. Debug mode is also there. You can set different containers to save different configuration. You can change the GPU driver according to your device and switch from default controls to input bridge. If the input bridge application is installed on your device, 
device it will automatically detect you can also set the dxvk version depending on the game you would like to play you can also install the tweak like apps dll or fonts also you can enable mongo hud when all the settings and configuration are done click on apply button and it will reboot the system if you want to watch more videos like this please like and subscribe to our channel see you in the next video take care